Welcome to Leparo, the Cedar Ekuruleni Base Metals Incubation Program. Established in 2007, Leparo launched its technology business center in February 2011 in Springs Ekuruleni in the Houteng province of South Africa. It offers a combination of business, technical training and mentoring for budding entrepreneurs as well as incubation space. Formally registered as a not-for-profit company and governed by a detailed memorandum of agreement signed by all the stakeholders. Leparo is the fruit of the culmination of five years of careful planning and consultation between major industry players spanning the private and public sector, industry associations and tertiary institutions. It is also constituted of a pool of stakeholders. City of Ekuruleni, Exaro, Izasa, Impala Platinum, Lonmen, Max Steel, PG Group, Cedar, Gold One, Ekuruleni Base Metals, ensuring participation from both the private and public sector responsible for economic development. The principal mission is to provide support through skills development, value creation, and entrepreneurial mentorship. This leads us to the introduction of Leparo's incubation model, with its first phase being the adequate selection of candidates. Uh, Leparo is one of the few incubation centers in the country uh, that is focusing on base metal development of uh, entrepreneurs, and the program is uh, going quite well. I'm probably in a very fortunate position in that I've been involved with the Leparo Initiative since the very early stages. What is particularly interesting and encouraging is the fact that we've managed now to identify a number of businesses which serve the membership and the community at large. And these are people not just from the previously disadvantaged community, but also people who genuinely want to contribute to the local community and to Ekuruleni as a whole. At Liparo, our focus is to identify uh, potential uh, manufacturers and uh, service providers in the engineering and manufacturing space. So we're looking for the artisan, the laborer and the engineer who has actually decided to start their own business. And obviously our role is to then capacitate them uh, with various uh, interventions, uh, ranging from uh, equipment uh, to space to work from and then compliance issues, ranging from SARS compliance to the Department of Labor compliance to ISO and standards compliance. At the stage of the thorough selection, the candidates are then assisted to have some basic business compliance in order for them to embark on the incubation program. Leparo is trying to convert potential SMMEs into becoming mainstream businesses in the engineering and manufacturing sector that will eventually become tomorrow's organically grown industrialists. The incubation starts with a probation period ranging from one to three months that ensures both parties meet the requirements for a mutually beneficial relationship. Pre-incubation is the trial period where SMMEs test the requirements of the program and their ability to participate before committing to the program. During this phase of the incubation model, all incubatees have access to necessary interventions to ensure that the basic industry compliances are met. Financial compliance, labor compliance, quality compliance and standard, legal advisory, and access to basic machinery to ensure production. Faro would help us in the long run because of all the enterprise development they're doing and the companies that they're helping people get involved with. And it will also help us support the local community with people being taught in their specific field of expertise and the talents they'll possess after they've finished. Currently we've done several projects and we've, through those projects, created not, not only employment was um, created, but transfer of skills and knowledge uh, as well as a revenue through the programs that we've done. Effective incubation takes place when the stakeholders are actively involved in the program. At Leparo, the stakeholders get an opportunity to mentor and advise SMMEs during the course of the program. We will assist them with the financial management, how they need to run the company cash flow. It, what we've realized is that one of the big challenges with the small enterprises is marketing. So 
being in an incubator, one of the roles would be to assist the companies with the marketing. The purpose for being involved with the Liparo for Lawnmen is because we share a common belief that enterprise development is key for the economic transformation of uh, our country. We've been struggling in the past to find projects or, or little developments and we came across Lipara and it was a very exciting setup and it was so great to see people that are passionate about the whole drive with BEE. Um, our involvement in this is obviously seeing that we do government tenders. Lipara has assisted us massively in this whole BEE drive um, with regards to getting the point on enterprise and supply development. The relationship between stakeholders and SMMEs is mutually beneficial in that the stakeholders get to meet their supply chain and enterprise objectives while the SMME gets access to sustainable markets. In uh, conjunction with this, uh, with this particular program, is, uh, Maxteel has also uh, started their own funding for the EMEs and the QSEs where they also can grow from strength to strength. What that means is uh, the small companies never have a um, trade history. So Maxteel has come up with a program that actually incubates these kind of uh, uh, companies and grows them into the mainstream credit uh, industry where they can use Maxteel as a reference. At Leparo, the incubatees are developed and supported until they are economically sustainable. Leparo is supporting SMMEs who create employment and widen the tax-based contributors in South Africa. We strive to ensure that they actually receive retainer contracts. So when you're coming out of the program, we try and main that you get a minimum 12-month project or 12-month retainer contract to ensure that you get to employ people. These goals may be further divided through the statement that Leparo aims to ultimately create future industrial giants that can be candidates for programs such as the Black Industrialization Program, develop the skills enhancement of SMMEs and to ensure that the larger businesses have a retained pool of developing skills that may be of benefit in the future. Create value to the consortium members and sponsors. Enhance quality job creation through SMME development and support. Introduce new technologies and markets to potential entrepreneurs to ensure sustainability of the SMMEs. It is in that regard that we have our stakeholders embarking as board members and also being involved in creating procurement opportunities for our SMMEs. This is a good example of effective interaction between the local business community, private and public sectors and industry associations for impact in the field of enterprise development. One of the key partners of Leparo is the small enterprise development agency, CEDA. I think what also is really for us important is to see that they don't only develop as an organization, but they also develop the people that work for the organization. And we've seen how people come into the system and how they get developed. Um, I think also in terms of the incubatees that come into the system, um, some of them have graduated from the system, so that is very important for us. And therefore I would say there's definitely progress from a CEDA perspective. I also think that incubation for us, when you look at the program in itself for CEDA, it is really a vehicle that takes um, entrepreneurship for us to a different level and that's why we would like to see that um, incubators such as Leparo, um, you know, contribute more towards taking entrepreneurship forward. One of the stakeholders of Leparo in the mining industry is the South African-based Diversified Resources Group, Exaro. The graduates from this program uh, play a, a pivotal role in the economic development of the country. In the platinum mining industry, one of the key stakeholders of Leparo is the Impala Platinum Group. I'm very happy with the um, Leparo program and uh, the way it's going forward. I believe there's much potential and I've seen this program having a huge impact on the economy of South Africa going forward as the plans is that uh, from this uh, uh, center they would like to expand it to a very wider uh, uh, market in South Africa. Ekuruleni is the largest industrial municipality in southern Africa within which Leparo is situated. Ekuruleni is a manufacturing hub um, and we want to assist small businesses to grow. Leparo Incubation has assisted us a great deal 
We've got about 105 um, small businesses being incubated and being trained and being helped with the compliance issues. So we are quite excited as the Ecoland Metro and we are seeing the, the deliverables. We see us partnering further with them to expand the, the program and the incubation at the facility. The idea is to expand this uh, program to include other things that can assist small businesses. We are looking at involving Leparo to assist small businesses in our program called the Industrial Hives. We have targeted uh, seven industrial hives. We've got about 60 SMEs that are actually doing business at this industrial hives. Enterprise development and supply chain has a pivotal role to play in bringing about meaningful transformation to the benefit of all. We have four different funding options for small, medium and large size potential corporate partners who wish to help with sustainable development and also see a measurable supply chain and enterprise development returns. Funding for training through the in-house training academy. Supply of procurement opportunities for SMMEs. Funding of the center's administration activities and funding of the center's capital expansion. It is vital for an incubation program to have an association with institutions and professionals of higher education. As an educator, I can see the value of having people being developed, being out there in the wilderness without all the necessary skills and all the necessary equipment might be something terrible. The importance of a training academy is also to ensure that there is a mutually beneficial link between the training industry and the supply chain development resulting in an SMME with an educated and certified workforce. The Paro Training Academy, it is an accredited facility with MESITA, Health Web CETA, and Department of Labor. And the purpose of the academy is to ensure that the entrepreneurial training and certification is given to the SMME's business owners, SMME's employees, the Paro staff, and also the youth around the area. Sponsor grants are used largely in the delivery of programs for the benefit of the SMME. It is our objective to become a self-sustainable center. It is vital to ensure that the created SMME becomes sustainable, thereby enabling them to give back towards the program through facilitated procurement opportunities. In summary, the program offers the following. Technical skills training, business skills training, workshop provision and compliance, financial management compliance. We are in charge of financial management of our clients here at Leparo. Uh, what we actually do is we mentor the directors in financial management. We teach them the basic principles of tax. We also teach them how to run the cash flow of their business, how the payroll works and their responsibility towards their employees. The main process that we have is we take you on as a client and then what we do is we monitor you on a month-to-month -month basis. We gather information on behalf of our stakeholders which is uh, Leparo and the board of directors. We gather turnover information, we compile management accounts monthly, we also compile annual financial statements in order to assist with uh, budgets and financial projections. We also assist with business plans as well. Health, safety, environment and labour compliance. Our purpose is to make sure that all the SMMEs are compliant to the requirements of the Occupational Health and Safety Act, Labor Relations Act and COI Act. We do this process through a detailed audit process when an SMME joins the centre. After determining all the gaps, we put a detailed corrective actions to mitigate and close all the gaps. Our main goal and our belief is to make sure that all our SMEs run businesses that are compliant to the legal requirements. Quality standards compliance, manufacturing capacitation, marketing material assistance, production assistance, 
business development support. Our main objective is to assist the state-owned entities and the government agencies to meet their enterprise development program targets as well as their enterprise development scorecards. We tap into the enterprise development programs as well as enterprise development scorecards to ensure that our SMMEs have retainer contracts to make sure that they stay in the markets. We also have relationships with these entities wherein they bring all the SMMEs who do not meet their compliance requirements into our incubator. We incubate them and then at the same time we give them procurement opportunities through these entities. Legal Advisory Services We provide uh, legal consulting and advisory services to Niparo and the securities. Our main focus being uh, making sure that the incubities have got enough and sound legal uh, services. Our main area of focus is uh, corporate and uh, commercial law, uh, industrial relation, financial duties. Our involvement is on monthly meetings during which we then determine as to what are the legal needs for the incubities. After that, we then provide the tailor-made solutions to ensure that their challenges legally are addressed accordingly. Monitoring and evaluation. Padman is responsible for mentoring and evaluation processes for the center. What we do, we want to make sure that we do things right and we do them in the right way. What basically we're doing, we collect the information on the specific performance indicators to give information to the management as well as the stakeholders on the ongoing intervention. Since its humble beginnings as a construction site, the Leparo facility has now developed into a fully operational entity. The facility now occupies an approximate 1,550 square meters area in Phase 1, and Phase 2 is set to begin soon, with an envisaged area covering 39,155 square meters. The facility workshop contains metal casting, sheet metal bending machine, angle cutter, guillotine, the welding machine, gutter making machine, and a punching machine. Our incubation program develops and supports entrepreneurs for a period expected to take no more than three years. And the mentoring focuses on preparing the candidate for the market and creates sustainable earning opportunities for their business. The mentoring focuses on two aspects. Face-to-face -face business and strategy mentoring done by business and professionals or strategists and technical and on-the-job mentoring done by engineers and artisans. To graduate from the program, the SMME must have achieved all the compliance and interventions that have been set out for them, but mainly financial compliance, labor compliance, quality and standards compliance, with the retainer contract or projected secured income for 12 months or more, and access to basic machinery to produce their products or services. The program continues to facilitate the necessary procurement support and funding opportunities where possible. The SMME will continue to report to the center quarterly for a period of two years after graduation. The program offers workshops to SMMEs for a period up to 12 months. Thereafter, SMMEs are encouraged to be on their own premises where they are paying market-related rates. Leparo has more than 100 SMMEs in the database, and here are some of them currently in the program. Leparo's premises allows the center to showcase the required standard of health and safety to be emulated by the SMME on their own workshop environment. Everywhere you look, you'll find our stickers for the safety. That's the most important thing in the workshop. Is we never had an injury or anything on the premise or anything like that. Safety becomes a very important thing because we've created a family background. The owing customers is exploration drilling, Daibo and so Y. We service uh, Acelometer, Escom, Transmed, Impala Platinum, Anglo Platinum, Glencore Extractor, the two government departments. They've added a lot of value to our systems and our practices. We'd like to really give them a big, big thank you for assisting us this far. I think uh, they've played a, a big role. Uh, once again, uh, my head's off to the power. Our model would not be effective without our strategic partners and alliances through signed MOUs.
The program values and congratulates the SMMEs that have embarked on the incubation program and have stayed committed. It is through them that the economy will develop with the wider tax base that they create. If your organization would like to participate in the program, you are welcome to contact us. This is your CEDA Ekuruleni Base Metals Incubation Program. This is Leparo, the foundation stone of knowledge. We thank you for supporting our initiative.